having some fun. What we're going to do is go between this portion and this portion. Remember, this is minus 20 and this is minus 10. So when the playback head crosses across here, how much more level is going to be coming into this compressor? There's going to be 10 dB more, right? Right now with the threshold at minus 20, nothing's happening here. But as soon as it hits this, we're going to be 10 dB over this threshold. And with a ratio of 2 to 1, in other words, 10 dB is coming in over this threshold, 2 to 1, how much gain reduction should we be seeing here? Well, let's test it. No gain reduction. And get ready. There you go. 5. And for extra credit, what's going to happen when we go up here? Another 10 dB. How much gain reduction is going to be? Check it out. Exactly. As you jump up 10 dB with a 2 to 1 ratio, the first step up here is only going to let 5 dB come through. There will be a gain reduction of 5 dB. And then when it jumps up another 10 dB, it's going to be halving that again. So there's a 20 range between here, which is the threshold, and here. So therefore, only half of that will be coming in, half of that 20 degree span, uh, sorry, that uh, 20 dB span is 10 dB. Let's try, um, let's say we're 5 to 1. What are we going to see here? Okay, the first one is a 10 dB difference and a 5 to 1 ratio. In other words, 10 dB is coming in, 10 more dB is coming in over that threshold and it's going to be compressed 5 to 1 what is that going to be? Think about it. Okay, let's see. That's right, 8 dB reduction because with a 10 dB span there and we're reducing it 5 to 1, then that's only going to give us 2 dB out. So 10 minus 2 gives us our 8 dB. Uh, reduction. Let's see how it looks over here on the third one. See if you can guess the out the outcome. Yep, about 16 dB. It's only letting 4 dB out. It's a 20 dB span, 5 to 1, right? So it's only going to let through um, uh, 4 dB and 20 minus 4 is about 16 dB. So I hope you got those ones uh, right. If you like, pop this into your own uh, DAW and start messing around with the compressors and see if you can guess all of that gain reduction. By the way, in order for this to work, you'll probably need to have peak uh, detection on to get these kind of clinical numbers.